about a new spirit with this team after the game at Virginia. Do you see that? And if so, how does that come about? Um, you said a new spirit with this team after Virginia? After, you know. After the first? Well, I mean, he said it in his post-game game. In the right, past yeah. few weeks. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That he detected um, a new spirit. You know. Yeah, we've just been uh, trying to fight through the adversity of the tough month that we had and um, stay up and stay positive and stay confident um, because, you know, we went through a tough stretch where we lost a few games we felt like we should have won and um, weren't playing as well as we know we were capable of. But, you know, the fun time of the year is right around the corner. So, um, you know, there's nothing to hang our heads over. You know, we, we weren't really expected to do anything this year. Um, granted, we had higher standards for ourselves in terms of like where we finished, but um, I think we surprised a lot of people. And um, you know, going into March, we have a lot of confidence in the team that we are and the players that we have. What gives you <laughs> confidence and I guess you're excited about just the prospects? Yeah, I would just say the uh, what we sh what we've been capable of doing, like what we've shown in, in certain games this year, um, you know, at North Carolina, um, against Michigan State at home, um, battling, you know, had, had Duke up twenty three, you know, battling against Virginia both times. I mean, we know we're a really good team, so um, you know that that's where our confidence comes from, you know, and then. You bring energy and, and effort every day in, in practice. You know, that's another really good way to build confidence as well. And how does the mindset change this week now that it is one and done? You know, for the next two yeah, tournaments. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's almost like a new season. It's almost like a fresh start. You can kind of put everything else behind you in terms of the good and the bad, um, and and just kind of start fresh. Is it to get back to what you were talking about earlier, Ryan? Is that something? Spirit, confidence, the work that you guys have talked about among yourselves, or is that just kind of how you're seeing things? Or? I think that's how a lot of us see it. Um, just little comments here and there, but we haven't sat down and had a discussion about us having confidence. I mean, um, you can just kind of see it when we're out there and um, tell by the, the spirit we have in practice and the spirit we have in the locker room. I, mean, you, I heard you guys had a had a players uh, only practice on a, on a day you're supposed to have off last week. Yeah. How did that come about, and, and what did you guys focus on in that practice? Uh, we the captains just texted us and said, uh, you know, what time do you guys want to get shots up tomorrow? You know, um, it was our second off day in a row, and nobody on this team takes more than a day off, if any days off. Um, in the season, so it was kind of already like, you know, we're all coming, going to be at the gym at some point in the day. Like, why don't we just all come in together? And uh, just had the music blaring, got up shots, um, having fun. You know, just like it was a, a kind of off-season workout. So it was, it was fun. Who gets to choose the music? Um, <laughs> I think CC was over there um, on the playlist picking out songs for the whole workout. So he was over there for a good five, 10 minutes picking out. When you do that kind of kind of loosey-goosey shoot around, mm -hmm. you still have to have some discipline to make sure you're being productive, like working on shots you take during games at the pace you get during games. How do you make sure you do that? Yeah, so we had our, uh, our grad assistants there, um, and we went through the kind of same routine and same uh, drills that we do you know, for pregame or like shoot arounds uh, or, or light shoot arounds um, nights before games or whatever. So there's still structure. It's not like we were just out there, you know, throwing the ball up from half court. Um, but we were just loose, you know, coaches aren't around. You can kind of talk, talk some smack to, to your teammates or get in a little shooting competitions or, um, you know, just <coughs> kind of be more loose. So we, uh, we got up a lot of shots and had some fun with it. You guys haven't beaten a ranked team, I guess, since the Virginia Tech game, but do you feel like you are improving and better now than you were then? Definitely. I mean, we've gone through some highs and lows and gone up a little bit, gone down a little bit, you know, and, and Coach Mack has let us know when he thinks we're getting better or he thinks we're regressing. So, um, and I think, I 
think we're peaking at a, at a good time. You know, um, we've faced some of the best competition in the country, and we know going forward in the ACC tournament and the NCAA tournament, we're going to be playing teams like that um, pretty much every night. So, I mean, we're ready for it. So over the past two games or so, what are the, the biggest areas of improvement that you've noticed? Um, I would say uh, communication on defense and um, withstanding runs. You talked about coming close to Virginia and a couple of other teams. What's it going to take to turn the corner and actually win a game like that? Um, I would say what Coach said, just being poised down the stretch. Um, they're not kind of not playing hero ball, you know, kind of doing what we did um, the entire game to get to that point, to get that lead or to be in the game, um, to know, you know, not stray away from what we, we did to get there. Um, I don't know. I mean, I feel like there's some maturity aspects, but I also feel like they're, we're a mature team. So it's hard to pinpoint the exact reason. I feel like we've lost different big time games for different reasons. So um, I think if we uh, you know, analyze those and, and break them down and, and figure out what we did wrong, it'll help us you know, when it really counts in March.